Today we're breaking down the classic police song, Every Breath You Take, which is a song that is straight up about stalking someone, but somehow sounds kind of romantic, which just goes to prove that Sting has more game than anybody else and we're just living in his world. So it basically sounds like this. So this is really a good lesson in add nine chords, and we're gonna talk about that right now. Now there's a couple different ways to play this, like with the capo, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about the stretching that goes into it, but we're gonna start on this A add nine chord, okay? So the first note we hold down, the root note is the A on the E string, the fifth fret. We're gonna make a power chord, the seventh fret on the A string. Your pinky's gonna stretch out to get the ninth fret on the D string. Now, if we stop right here, this would be what's called a suspended chord technically a suspended two chord. We have the root note and the fifth note. And if we just have these three, we don't have the third. We need the third to make a major or minor chord. The major third of this is a major chord. But if we swap that major third for this note right here, which is a B, B is the second note in the key of A, this would be a suspended two chord, a suspended two, okay? Now, but the thing that changes that is this note right here, which is the major third of A, uh, being A, B, C sharp, and then the octave, C sharp, right? So that's the major third. So since the major third is present, it actually takes this note right here, B, and turns it into a nine, okay? So the reason that is, is we have, here's A, one, B is two, now we have the octave B. Since we have the one, two, three, four, and the five, that B turns into a six, seven, eight, nine. So we have a one, a five, a nine, and a three. So really this is an A major add nine chord. It's not a major nine chord because the major seven isn't present. If we had a one, a three, a five, a seven, and a nine, then that would definitely be a major nine chord. But we need the seven to be present to technically have a major nine chord, so this is what's called an add nine chord. You've probably seen add nine chords before with like a, like a C add nine or you just add like a D to a C chord. Again, D being the second note, but since the third is present, we're going all the way around to make it an add nine chord. So this is kind of like a very add nine-y sounding song. We can do the same thing with a minor chord. So we're gonna go to the F sharp, which is the relative minor in the key of A. And we're gonna take the one, the five, the nine, and the minor third, okay? So the second fret on the G string is actually uh, what makes a major chord into a minor chord, that flat three. So we have a one, five, nine, five, minor third, nine, five, nine. Now this is like a, this is a pretty big stretch. Like you really kind of have to have some bar chord technique to get this down. So if this is too hard for you, I suggest just kind of like moving around like, one, five, nine, five, three, nine, five. And eventually you'll get it to the point where you can kind of just do it without having to move, okay? So that's just kind of like one thing to think about when it comes to bar chords. So we've got the first one, the A add nine into the F sharp minor. Then we're gonna go into a D. Now it's the same shape again. Kind of, you can think of it as a suspended chord because we're not actually playing what would be a D major add nine. Five A, seven D, nine G, one, five, nine, five, eight, five, one, five. So really knowing your numbers in the major scale is super helpful in kind of running through these kind of arpeggiated patterns that we have going on here. So really we're just taking the nine and changing it to an eight. One, five, nine, five, eight, five, one, five. Repeat the same pattern on the five chord. A, B, C sharp, D, E, this E. The same thing we just did on the D. So here's the four chords arpeggio into the five chords arpeggio. And then back to the A. Okay, so it's kind of a good lesson in just hearing 
the sound of an add nine chord, hearing the sound of a suspended chord with or without that major major third or minor third. Again, if it ha if the third is present, it's not a suspended chord. You go around because you're building a chord. Once you have the one and the three and the five, the chord building comes after that. You know, you could call this a suspended chord. I'm not gonna yell at you. Some kind of uppity music school people might yell at you, whatever. It has kind of a suspended sound because of the way that this chord is built, I personally think, but it technically are, these are add nine chords. So it's definitely a great voicing to have in your vocabulary and just a good example of uh, a really, uh, I think, a unique guitar player just crushing it in what is an all-time great band. So if you have any questions or comments, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, the website of the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot.